Okay, we got a house in Allen Park, and we're coming in, we're just spraying from trim all the way over to trim. And this is all gonna be one color, uh, pretty close to white. Uh, the walls are in what you might call a horrible shape, but we're going for, again, what I'm calling landlord special, or, or my attempt at it. Um, I will still be taking the plates off, so not exactly a landlord special, but yeah, it's going to be a higher quality of that. Um, so the texture is going to be largely the same. I mean, it's going to be patched and got to do this as fast as possible because the owner isn't looking for a super high quality job, uh, so the price will reflect that. So we're going in as fast as we can, and we're doing a lot of surfaces here. So bathroom, which has some issues, we'll need, especially up here, we'll need some oil-based. But this is all going to be like a, it's like a tall, like a very light off-white, and it's going to be an eggshell over everything. Uh, what exists here looks like it might be already an eggshell, so it's kind of perfect. And it's a light color, so it'll probably get it with spray in one coat. And yeah, crossing my fingers. But we're just hitting all the doors, we're hitting all the ceilings, we're hitting all the trims. Uh, I still need to max up, mask off the, I still need to mask off all of the edges here. And that's the plan is to go through room by room, spray every surface like I'm priming. Now I might just roll in here because I don't feel like masking off all of these cabinets and then just putting a, uh, a film in the doorway so, the, so it doesn't waft in. So yeah. That's the main floor. It's just two bedrooms, so not very big, but this is where it gets out of hand. There's a bungalow. And like, like with a lot of Detroit style bungalows is that the upper area is not super up to date. So you still got the two prong outlets in here. Um, this has got a decent finish, so putting a, a new finish on top of it will be very nice, so minimal holes. But I'm going to have to cover the floor independently. And then on top of all that, looking at the whole project, stairwell which is in halfway decent shape. Got to cover that hole though. Looking good here, skipping this. So this is gonna be all rolled. And maybe, yeah, that's probably just gonna be rolled. Same stuff. And then over here too. And the center pillar. This one will take less time than the upstairs probably because it's just a top coat and there's no patching done to be done so we're looking good there they're gonna come in and redo these doors so just coming in getting the walls painted it, it should be fast but it's definitely under undervalued I'm just going for a quick job to get more work that's the idea here plus I'm not doing anything else so it's good use good use of time to make money uh, that ceiling bit is probably gonna get uh, at least the whole ceiling I think I'm gonna go with a back roll uh, and a lot of these really bad walls so like here like where you got just a million holes and some texture issues. I will probably back roll where it's sprayed, but, or like here too, where the TV mount was. 
but like like a wall like this, I can just spray that and it'll look fine. And it's also not at any angle where you can see the sun coming through. So it turns out pretty good in the end. All right, I'll see you on the other side when I snap through these rooms. All right, so we got a problem here. This is painted on wallpaper in the front, and this is in the front bedroom. Uh, and I found that out when I was taking the panel off of this light switch. So here I am going through and finding out where the weak points are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat it with oil-based like kills. So I'm gonna go with this, uh, uh, I think I have some Zinzer, decent amount of it too. There we go. This stuff. Cover stain. It's, it's stinky and smelly, but it'll glue down. It's essentially tinted glue, but um, it'll glue down the remnants of this wallpaper so it doesn't sag or peel later on. This whole room has it. Uh, I found out the kitchen also has it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and peel as much as I can. This wallpaper did not hold up. It is coming off with minimal effort. Um, I'm getting entire sheets all the way to the ceiling here. So, I'm just gonna continue with the plan, but instead of just doing some some random spots with the with the the zinzer uh, i'm just gonna peel all this off and then zen, and just hit it with the, uh, the zinzer um, i was thinking about doing water based but overkill is the name of the game here this won't happen again Real quick, this is what the pile of chipped paint wallpaper ended up piling up as. I did the entire wall. Um, wow. Shit's heavy too. It ain't no joke. A couple, like 10 pounds maybe? It's insane. All right, I'm done short of the a little bit of cleanup and some touch up. So this is very dim over here, sorry. Here, I can fix that. Yep, this is alabaster uh, Sherwin-Williams color. Um, it's a, an eggshell, but with the Glidden Premium paint. And it's uh, pretty close to white. Um, there's a, I don't know, I would say maybe a little darker would be a, would have been a little better. Just a, you know, but the good thing about that is there's a, this is still just a touch wet, but um, the trim, uh, it, you can just paint the trim. Yeah, it's a little touch up, but you can, you can paint the trim and the wall the same color as well as the ceiling. So it's so close and it's like a taupe basically, but it's so close and warm that 
Uh, the ceiling looks fantastic when the final product is done. Um, it's a little, so in the Glidden Premium, it's a little shinier than the usual uh, eggshell, but that's not too bad. Uh, makes it more washable. This is a rental, so it's, uh, it's better that it's a little shinier. Um, but not so shiny for the ceiling that it looks like, you know, <laughs> like a bathroom. Um, although it does work pretty good in the bathroom still. See, like that is going to get a little bit of touch up. But for the most part, it's uh, it's done. Um, I'm also going to hit the, I think the door too, because that's patching. Just a little bit of patching. This is a house in Allen Park. I'm going to touch that spot up. And it's a pretty nice neighborhood and a pretty decent rental house. Um, I would say this is uh, uh, somewhere in the middle as far as, you know, whether it's very premium or not. But it definitely has an interesting layout. Mainly in the fact that it's got a garage, which I should probably show you the garage. If you see... I don't know if it's, you're able to see it, but it's crooked, like really crooked. Like the whole foundation of it is. But uh, yeah, um, interesting layout. It's got a basement. It's got a full two far two. Is that two car garage? One car garage? Yeah, two one car garage. Um, there's a there's that uh, like it's like a, a bar. And then it's got the paneling, so it's a uh, it's got like a brick facade on the one side, so it's it's a uh, it looks interesting and it's got a cool uh, layout. But yeah, finish turned out pretty good. You can kind of see that shine a little bit. Sorry, I just finished painting, so it's uh getting pretty close to dusk here. But there was a pretty significant patching going on in the ceiling before and that's effectively invisible now unless you're really looking for it I got my canvas all laid out outside there's a couple things I gotta pick up and clean up and touch up but it's done it's ready to go I'll be here for a few more hours but uh, I won't be here tomorrow Gotta like take the masking off of that. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna recommend to the owner that uh, they replace most of the plates because they were painted onto the wall. I should probably emphasize this room. Um, the only reason I started peeling off dry or like the, the wallpaper is because when I took off the plate, it ripped it like almost all the way up the wall. So I kind of had to do it. <laughs> Um, it, it wasn't really something that was um, easy. Even after I peeled it off, it still wasn't easy to paint over. Um, it's, it was still bubbling peeling because the whole thing wasn't coming off. I wasn't doing a proper removal. So this room also has wallpaper. And when I went to start, like there was a hole right here. When I went to start taking the hole off, I had to, it would start peeling. So I stopped it in its tracks with kills and then put the regular coat on it. And it coated pretty well. Um, this, this definitely needs a bit of patching, but this was this had some pretty gnarly texture. You, you can probably still see some of the chaos. Um, I sealed it out, I sealed this whole room out with kills. Or sorry, Zinzer cover stain. So it'll be, uh, it's got a good finish. So like this is a, a good spot to touch up. But yeah, and this room's pretty interesting. So this is the bungalow in in this house. Uh, I did a hundred percent just spraying it, and this took almost I think it was like four gallons by itself. It's kind of dim, but 
that light doesn't work. So funny story about this. This is, you know, the, the spray finish always looks really nice, but interesting thing about up here is, you know, okay, I, I sprayed it, no problem. There were some spots I had to patch, you know, I, I used, um, I just patched it and then rolled it a bunch of times. But this had a storm window. This was late at night. And this had this, this like track wasn't holding on and there's no track over here. And as soon as I touched the storm window, it's glass, um, it just fell out the window and smashed onto the driveway in the middle of the night. Uh, the, or the handyman guy said that he was just, that they were going to repair that anyways, but yeah, it was like shattering in the middle of the night. It's got to be like kind of crazy for the neighbors. Back downstairs. That's it for this house. And uh, on to the next video. Thanks for watching.